Hi, Andrew from BMG Productions here and welcome to another episode of Talking Tactics. Today's episode is going to examine the criminal mastermind, Hush. Now, I picked this character up over the Christmas break and on closer inspection, I thought I'd do a video just because he is quite useful and he works across a lot of crews, namely Poison Ivy, Joker, Riddler and Scarecrow. I picked him up for my Scarecrow crew, but I thought I'd do a video and just explain why I think he is one of the most underrated and um, least used character choices in the BMG universe for those specific crews. So let's get into the video. One of the main reasons that I like Hush is that he brings a lot to the table when he's placed in a tournament setting. Now I'm not saying you should use this model exclusively for tournament settings, but once you start using strategies and the current meta in tournaments, you start to see why this character gains a lot of value when he's put on the table. So, looking at his personal traits, he has a few exceptional ones that sort of give you a few free strategies for nothing at all. So, martial artist means that he is never outnumbered, which is good for when he's in close combat. Master marksman means he rerolls failed to hits when shooting, which is good. It makes him more reliable um, when you get a few shots off before getting into close combat. Now, mastermind gives you plus one dice to add to the bag before the game begins. Now this is really good and I like it for several reasons. Namely, that one, you get an extra die for activation, which is always good, but two, it also counteracts the Chaos Agent factor, which appears to crop up in a lot of tournaments when people run Joker crews. So you can lose out big when you're facing a Joker crew normally because you lose a turn and the game can sort of end before you get your activations in. But having Hush in a crew means it's easier for you to counteract that. So if a dice gets taken away, Hush adds one back in, which is really useful. Um, if you're using Hush with the Joker, then you can make your opponent cry because not only are you taking a dice away, you're also adding one to your pool. So you're making your activations a lot easier to get. Another useful trait that he has is Persuasive. So by spending one special counter and one attack counter, you're able to force an opponent within sight, so 30 centimeters to activate. Um, I haven't used it as yet, but it would probably be a good situational um, trait to have. So maybe you can force a character who only has one counter left because they've been wounded badly to activate and make them waste their counter on something. Um, but other than that, it's sort of like a quasi sort of pass for you guys to sort of see if you um, see what your opponent's doing, which is always useful. Another one is scheming two. So, in the raise the plan phase, you can nominate two characters from your team to raise the plan after you yourself have raised the plan and your opponents raise the plan. So, when I do this, I usually nominate Hush or the Arkham Knight and a crucial um, henchman that I have in my crew to sort of give me the edge over my opponent. And that's exactly what it's designed to do. So, you can see what everyone else is doing before you dedicate any tokens anywhere else. So that's his personal traits covered. Hush has two special traits, one of which is Exhaustive Planner. So before the game starts, cancel one strategy from your opponent. Now this is a crucial and really valuable trait to have because most tournament settings, I believe that um, Snitch, which is one of the strategies, um, which does exactly the same thing, has been outlawed. So having this guy in your crew is really valuable for having that cancellation policy. Um, when I've been facing Joker crews, which are pretty much one of the stronger crews out there. They're all strong, but I usually face a lot of Joker crews. Um, having the Exhaustive Planner trait with Hush cancelling out the Immortal trait for Joker and the strategies has been really helpful um, in making the Joker more of a priority target. Because once he's Immortal, people sort of don't bother going after him because he's not giving away any victory points. So I try and cancel that or maybe Fast Advance. Um, and yeah, it just makes things a lot easier than just having to deal with him and not getting any reward for it. So that's what I use that trait for. The next one is Hidden Boss. Now this is entirely situational. However, it's a good insurance policy to have, especially when you are only running a one hero team like me with the Arkham Knight. 
So, Hidden Boss is when his crew's leader, not the boss, becomes a casualty, this model gains plus one willpower and the leader rank until the end of the game. So, I've interpreted this to mean that when you have a model that's a psychic, not the actual leader of the crew, when he becomes incapacitated, you gain this special rule. I could be wrong, there's been no FAQ about it, but that's how I've interpreted it, and it's never really cropped up in a game, because I try and take care of my um, psychics and leaders as well as I can. But it is a good insurance policy to have. So hopefully you guys can see just how powerful Hush can be in the right situation. He does have a lot of positives that do give you a lot of benefits pre-game, which then sort of help you get more value out of him while the game continues. I think that his exhaustive planner, mastermind, and scheming are some of his better traits, but definitely master marksman for his handguns are useful as well, and his stats aren't that bad to boot. So, yeah, this is going to be the end of the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time on BMG Productions.